I've got this little job to do. It's actually a um, screw to hold a camera on a tripod. It's got an imperial thread on it. Um, it's a quarter by 20 threads per inch. So I'll have to set the lathe up to cut, cut that pitch. And it's got a knurl on it, a straight cut knurl. And I'm also gonna have to cut a slot in it for the plain screwdriver. So I've got a piece of round stock. So we'll just set over to lathe now and set him up. Okay, we'll set him up in the in the chuck now. Get him running as true as we can. Just using a um, carbide insert. Okay, I've got to turn it down to. Um, 15 millimeter. So it's 17 mil. A bit more to go. Okay, that's the OD where the, the knurl is. It's 15 mil. So now I need to turn it down to looks like this the thread and the step is all the same diameter. So I'm just gonna get that down and see what size that is. And that's 6.1 millimeter. And the thread is also 6.1. And the length is 11 millimeters. Okay, all the turning work's been done, just on this part, like the uh, thread diameter and the OD for the weather knurl's got to go. So the next part I've got to do is the step. There's actually a step just in there. So that step is two millimetres. So I'll machine that step in it next. Um, I'll use a parting tool. So it's the right thickness for a parting tool, so I'll just hit that with a parting tool and it's a relief for the thread. It is 4.3 millimeters.
Okay, I'm just going to use a, um, a die nut to cut the thread on there. So I'll put this in the tail stock and that'll give me a nice square edge to work off. Keep the die nut nice and square. Take my time with this because that where I've got an undercut, a bit of a thread relief. It, it's a bit small; it might snap it off. So I'll just, slow and easy wins the race. You just keep a slight amount of pressure on behind the die nut just to keep it square. Let's give it a little bit of a turn and back it off a bit just to break the chip. I think that's it. It turned out good that thread. Okay, now I'll set up for the knurl. Okay, this is a knurling tool. If you watched my last video, you see how I actually fitted it to the actual um, quick change tool post. Um, I've got the medium rollers in there, the, the cross hatch one. So we'll give this a go and see how it works. And it's got to make sure it's on center height. the slowest uh, speed you can. So that'll be 65 RPM I'll have it.
we go. There's a knurl cut. Simple as that. Okay, we need to part him off now. So we'll set him up for that. Okay, all the turning work's been done. I made three of them up. So now all I have to do is um, set it up and cut that plain screwdriver mark in the top of them. So what I'll do, I've got a screw that I can screw on. I've actually cut, um, cut a groove in it. So when I put it in the vise, I'll screw it in, put it in the vise, it'll squeeze tight on it. And that way I can put the slot in the top for the plain screwdriver. Yeah, it's a um, two millimeter wide slot, so I'm using a two millimeter end mill. Okay, that's the first one done. Now I'll just do the other two.
Okay, I'll finish machining up these little screws. That's the original. And these are the three I made up, all the same. I'll be able to put them into use now. Right on to the next job.